I am tired of sports. I used to be a big baseball fan, gave it up. I'm just tired of being inundated with the political messaging and the, the different kind of things that come with that. But this week, the most encouraging video I saw was from the world of sports. I'd like to start with ESPN for, for the players. I know you talk about keeping the joy of the game, but I'm curious, it's a long season, right? And you guys have had the target on your back the entire time, the win streak being number one. How do you handle the unique pressure that comes with that? How do you keep the joy for so long when anxiety seems like a thing that could very easily set in? Okay, so this week uh, was the College World Series for girls softball. After the, the win and, and the game and everything, ESPN reporter asked the team, captains and the coach, how do they keep the joy of the game going? They had this great win streak, there's all this pressure, you know, it's a long season. How do you keep the joy for the game going? And Grace Lyons gave the best answer I've ever seen. Well, the only way that you can have a joy that doesn't fade away is from the Lord. And any other type of joy is actually happiness that comes from circumstances and outcomes. Um, I think Coach has said this before, but joy from the Lord is really the only thing that can keep you motivated, um, uh, just in a good mindset, uh, no matter the outcomes. Thankfully, we've had a lot of success this year, but if it was the other way around, uh, joy from the Lord is the only thing that can keep you embracing those memories, moments, friendships, and all of that. So uh, I would, that's really the only the only answer to that because there's no other way that softball can bring you that um, because of how much failure comes in it and just how much of a roller coaster the game can be. Now, Grace is not the only captain on the team, and one of the things that I was super encouraged by is there just seems to be this unity. And Jada Coleman brought in a whole testimony of her experience uh, with Christ. Listen to this. 1,000% agree with Grace Lyons. Um, I went through that my freshman year. I I was so happy to win the college. I've talked about this before, but I was just so happy that we won the College World Series, but I didn't feel joy. I didn't have, I didn't know what to do the next day. I didn't know what to do for that following week. I didn't feel filled and I had to find Christ in that. And I think that is what makes our team so strong is that we're not afraid to lose because if it's not the end of the world if we do lose. Yes, obviously we've worked our butts off to be here and we want to win, but it's not the end of the world because our life is in Christ and that's all that matters. So I love that Jada talks about that she won this World Series. She's, she's been here before and afterward it was a letdown and she didn't have joy and that's what the Lord used to kind of pull her to himself and reveal Christ to her, the, the greatest importance that she would have. Uh, that's a powerful testimony. And then when you look at Alyssa Brito, who's the next person, she talks about using that platform that they've been given to bring God glory. I think a huge thing that we've really just latched onto is eyes up. And you guys see us doing this and pointing up, but we're really like fixing our eyes on Christ. And that's something where, like they were saying, you can't find a fulfillment in an outcome, whether it's good or bad. And um, I think that's why we're so steady in what we do and, and our love for each other and our love for the game because we know this game is giving us the opportunity to glorify God. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think once we figured that out and that was our purpose and everyone was all in with that, um, it's really changed so much for us. And I mean, I know myself, I, I've seen so much of a growth in myself with um, once I turned to Jesus and I realized how he had changed my outlook on life, not just softball, but understanding how much I have to live for and that's living to exemplify the kingdom and I think that brings so much freedom and I'm sure everyone's story is similar but we all have those great testimonies that have really like shown how awesome it is to play for something bigger um, and I think that's just what brings me so much joy and no matter the outcome whether we get a trophy in the end or not we're this isn't our home and I think that's what's amazing about it is we have so much more we have an eternity of joy with our father and I'm so excited about that and Yes, I live in the moment, but I know this isn't my home, and um, no matter what, my sisters in Christ will be there with me in the end um, when we're with our, our king. So, I was super encouraged by this. I wanted to watch it multiple times. In a world when so many athletes just seem like they're, they're not well-spoken about anything, and they're just puppeting political talking points and trying to you know keep their paychecks high, and they're apologizing for things they say. This was a breath of fresh air. Here are these three girls who not only 
are looking to Christ for the greatest joy that they can, can have in life, eternal joy, but they also just said it so well on the fly. They were ready to give an account for the joy that is within them. And man, I mean, that was encouraging. I hope it was encouraging to you guys too. Wanted to share it out there with you guys. Watch this, you know, share it with your friends. Let them see what women in sports can really bring forth. So God bless you guys. Like, share, subscribe, and we